Hey, what's up? This is Alta 4 again, and I have an interesting case of another cheater on Slippy Online to show you. This one is far less sophisticated than Seiyu's controller macro, but it's one that tournament organizers should know about because it's likely to come up again. It's called lying. But let's back up a bit. So a little while ago, a tournament organizer came to the Slippy Discord and asked if there was a way to resolve a dispute that came up during an online event. Two of the players were in the middle of a tournament set on game two. Right in the middle of the game, one of the players quit out and said that the lag between them was so bad that it was unplayable and demanded that the game be replayed. The opponent, however, claimed that the game was not laggy at all. So how do we sort the liars? Also importantly, the player that claimed there was lag had lost game one and was losing game two during the sudden lag. Now this doesn't necessarily mean they lied, but it's important to keep in mind as uh, provides motive. That being that they wanted to get a new shot at a lost game and just made up the story about the lag. If the opposite were true, where the winner of the game uh, had uh, claimed that there was lag and wanted it to be replayed, that would be a very different scenario and be, be more inclined to take them at face value. Uh, first though, I want to bring something up. Uh, shortly after I uncovered the truth behind this scenario, I also discovered that I've previously interacted with this cheater myself. Um, I don't know them personally or anything, but I've had brief conversations in the Slippy Discord about unrelated things. Uh, so in the spirit of objectivity, I'm not going to reveal the name of the cheater in this case and just make this about the facts. For the sake of this video, let's just call him or her Steve. Fucking Steve. But back to our dispute. There's three possibilities here. One, Steve lied. The game was not laggy at all. Two, Alice lied. The game was laggy. Three, uh, they were both right. You see, uh, networking issues don't actually have to be symmetrical. Uh, things could have been worse for one side than the other. Typically not much worse, but still. We have to keep this in mind as a possibility that neither player was lying and both honestly reported diverging experiences of how the game was for them. So the first thing I did was request the SLP replay files for every game in the match from both players. SLP replay files contain information about basically everything that happened during a game of Slippy Online, and that includes rollbacks. If you're not already familiar, uh, Slippy Online uses a rollback netcode implementation. I can't possibly go over everything that this entails right now, but I can show you what it looks like. When there's some network latency, which is often imprecisely called lag, uh, what happens is that the game kind of jumps around a little bit like this. Notice how Marth sort of teleports a little bit during his movement here. But what's happening is that the game is catching up to where Marth should have been all along. So it rolls back to a previous game state and then fast forwards it up to be correct. SLP replay files uh, follow a kind of complex binary format, but it's basically a big sequence of frame data. Uh, games of Melee start on frame negative 123. Don't ask why, it's just weird. I don't get it, but that's how it works. And then uh, 60 times per second, a new frame is processed. The game reads your controller, takes action based off of it, and then keeps going. So in the SLP replay file, you might see something like this. So in this hypothetical game that we're looking at here, on frame 345, both players are just standing. Then on frame 346, uh, one player had pressed the A button and is now jabbing. It's in frame one of the jab animation. Then on the next frame, 347, the player is in frame two of the jab animation, and then three. And then finally, on the fourth uh, frame of the jab animation, the opponent is damaged and goes forward from there. Looks pretty straightforward. But when you play online, a rollback can happen, which will look in the replay file a little bit like this. So just like before, on frame 345, both players are standing. And then for 346, 347, and 348, both players are still just standing again because the game has not yet received any input from its opponent. Then, as an, uh, an A button press has been recorded for 346, but we've already proceeded past that. So what happens is the uh, rollback implementation will rewind or roll back to 346, inputting the jab, and then fast forwarding up to the now current frame 348. Notably, the larger the rollback, the larger the network latency spike was. So we can determine how laggy a game was by measuring the rollbacks, both in terms of how often they occurred and also how big the rollbacks themselves were. So I whipped up a quick Python script to do exactly that. Okay, so what does our disputed game look like from Alice's perspective? Let's take a look. All right, only a handful of rollbacks, pretty clean. This was a good quality game. Alice was clearly not lying. So for comparison, here's the rollback count for a game between Mango and Zane. See how there's actually a lot of rollbacks? But the average rollback length is only one. 
exactly one, in fact. What that tells us is that for every input, it results in a length one rollback. Uh, so this game had a mild amount of distance, but the connection was very stable. Okay, cool. So Alice wasn't lying. We can cross that off our list. Now let's look at the exact same game, but from Steve's perspective. Yeah, so there's actually zero rollbacks. Not only was this game not laggy, it was literally perfect. Steve's a liar. The game was not laggy. Uh, Steve was just pretending the game lagged to try to force a redo on a game that he was losing. I presented these findings to the tournament organizer that asked originally, and Steve was banned temporarily from his local community, which is good. There should be no room for this kind of behavior in the tournament scene. If you're a tournament organizer, you should be aware of this form of cheating. Make sure that you have a clear policy about how to handle games with poor connections, and if a dispute comes up, immediately grab the SLP replay files from both players. You might be wondering what the, as of this video, future ranked mode for Slippy Online will do about this sort of cheating, since the quality of your connection to your opponent is taken into account when scoring a win or a loss. Uh, the answer is that networking data is recorded throughout online games by both players, and reported back up to the matchmaking server. If they significantly diverge, that is, one player claiming that the game lagged and the other did not, then it will likely indicate that someone is lying. And if you do it more than once, we'll know who. Okay, another cheater found and punished. If you like Slippy Online, make sure to donate to Fizzy. Later.